Okay. I'm going to show you guys how I thin the paint. Two, three, four, five, six. I've got six drops of paint there. Okay. And I want something thinner than this because, let's see, I, put, I painted the orange on the end of this and it's left quite a few brush strokes. I burnished it a little bit and taken some of them out. But what I should have done is thin the paint, and I didn't. Now I know this paint that's in right here, I know it's, it's too thick. But I'm going to show you. There's one drop, of, I'm going to start with two drops of water. Okay, there's two drops. Okay, come on, mix this up. Okay. And we're going to take our brush. And we're going to dip in there. Not all the way up to the metal, just right to there. And we're going to go right to here, and we're going to leave some there. Okay. Notice how that's it's starting to run. It's not running too fast. This is about what I want. That's about the consistency. I don't want it to where it runs real fast. I don't want it to where it hangs there like a glop. Okay, see it's... And you can see on the brush, when I load the brush, okay, it's forming a drop. But it's not just dripping off of there. Okay. But that's too much paint. You just want to load your brush with the amount of paint that it will hold. I'm going with thin coats. I should have gone with thin coats. Let's say that. Now, in my previous pass, I painted this way. On this pass, my strokes are going different. Um, crossing your strokes will help where you don't have big brush streaks if you thin the paint and do it that way. See, I'm, I'm knocking some of that off of there so I don't have a big ass glob of it. I'm getting some on. See, I got some on there. I went in the middle. Now I'm going to pick up some of that paint and come out here to the side. Just kind of push into that corner. Just like that. See how I'm doing? Laying the brush flat. I'm coming into that corner like that. And I'm drawing off. I'm drawing off any... I'm coming through here and I'm drawing off any excess. I'm going to put my excess over here where I need it on the other part I've got some in that little quadrant there just smoothing out plus I'm getting that top a little bit Alright, so remember, thin coats, consistent thin coats, and also change your, do your brush strokes one way, let that coat dry, if you want to, you know, you can burnish it or whatever, come back and do your strokes this way, go that way, let it dry, go that way. It will help cut down on the, the brush strokes that you leave in the paint. Give you a good smooth finish. Okay, that's it for that. I've got some of my parts here. 
Well, these are basically all the plastic parts. And I've got the, uh, got my clear coat here. And I don't have any ventilation whatsoever in this room. Uh, this room is separated. The air from this room does not go into... There's no, like, intake register here. I'm just going to do a couple of quick passes. I could probably open this window over here, but this window probably hasn't been opened in 20 years, and who knows how long that would take. I am going to open it sometime, though. But I'm just going to do this shot real quick here, and then we're going to go in the other room. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna hit the button over here and just make a pass. Then I'll make a pass on the other side, make another pass over the top. Just hold your button down. I'm going about, I'm going about 10 inches away. Just like that. Don't want this thing laying over. That's fine like that. There. Take one more shot from the top. There we go. That's it. That's all we're going to do. So now we'll go on the other room. All right. See, I've done, I sprayed my dull coat on here, what I thought was dull coat. It's apparently a matte finish, and it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It did seal the paint, but it's left a lot of gloss. And uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my fiberglass burnisher here, and I'm just going to go around here and rub through here. Yeah, let me adjust this a little bit. Okay. This is going to smooth it out a little bit and hopefully break up a little bit of the gloss. I'm not too worried about the gloss itself. I'm going to use some powders. I'll be using some black soot powder. So that will do away with some of that but the main reason that I'm doing this is to smooth this out because I'm gonna have decals on here I'm gonna have the uh, pen central symbol right in here and then I'm gonna have the number right in this area and then likewise on the other side pen central up here the mating worms up here the numbers down this way that is kind of smoothing things out a little bit. See this cab? That's, yeah, that's way too shiny. This probably isn't going to do a whole lot to it. I might try some sandpaper on that and see what it does. Alright, so that's that. Uh, the next segment, we're going to be uh, getting ready to put our decals on. Alright. i got the crane boom here. I'm ready to put decals on. I've kind of buffed it a little bit with the fiberglass tool. I'm still working on getting the, uh, getting the orange over this hook part. That's kind of tricky. I can't let it go back here. I can't now because the paint's dry and I've still got some touch up to do there, but I want to get started on these decals. What I'm going to do, you guys can see the PC symbol there, the PC letters, not the symbol, the letters, the esoteric letters. I want to put those on. Right here between these two, put the PC right there, and I'm going to have like five numbers. 
and I'm probably going to have to put one on the other side of this upright here. But that's my placement. I've got this buffed out a little bit. I want the surface to be somewhat smooth, but I don't want it to be glossy. And this right here, I took a, a craft stick and I put a section of double stick tape on it. Got my decal cut out and stuck on here. I can't, yeah, you can probably see that. Okay. Okay. Got a little dish of water there. And I'm gonna set this decal down in that water. The instructions say 10 seconds. I usually go 15. You can usually, when you set the decal down in the water, um, you will notice the color of the paper behind it getting darker, and that's a good sign. That means the water's getting in there, and it's loosening up that adhesive. I'm going to get this ready. Okay, now, one thing I have to do, I'm using decal set. And it says to put some decal set on the surface where you're going to put the decal, so I'm going to go right there, I'm going to put some on, okay, cap that back up, and I've got a pencil with a, with a new eraser on it, I'm going to get that eraser in the water a little bit. Have that ready. It's been about 10 or 15 seconds now. And, and they say to lay it on a wet towel. Um, this is just to finish the, the process of that, of that adhesive loosening up so that you can slide that decal onto your work. Okay. 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 Now I got this. Let's lay this on here. Okay, my decal is sliding. Okay, now I've got that, but that's not where I want it. I'm just gonna... There. That's where I want it. And I am just going to tap. Just gonna tap slightly with this eraser in case I have an air bubble there. Okay. I've, I've got that where I want it. just a little more decal set, just a small amount. I'll try not to lose the decal in any way. Again, I'm going to... Yeah, I did move it some. There, I got it back. I want it now. I'm just going to leave this alone. 
and let this dry. I tell you what, this worked pretty good. Um, I took that decal, it came right off there. It doesn't really, because it's so wet, it doesn't stick all the way to this tape. It's not really, it just stays tight enough that you can slide the decal off. It works pretty good and I'm going to keep this. Um, now if that tape on, if this tape on this end gets bad, I'll just cut this off. And I'll keep using it till I run out of tape or put more tape on it. But uh, right now we're letting this we're letting these decals dry. All right. Now we've got our this is our number one seven four eight five. It's probably not prototypical, but now what I had to do here was. When I size this up, I don't want it right next to the letters. I want it down a little bit. So, and I didn't want to have to jump over this, this upright, this piece here with the decal. So, I'm going to do these three numbers on one side and do the other two numbers on the other side. And that's the same thing I'll do on the other side. The other side will be identical. The other side of the room will be identical. I'm going to put a little bit more water in here. Okay, that's good. Get my set. Put some there, and we'll put some there. Okay. Well, ready. This has probably had um, probably about 50 minutes. Okay. We're going to set this over here on our towel. We're going to wait just a few minutes.